What is up my dudes and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you guys the MA262A1A rank 5 battle rating 7.0 German jet fighter. And if you guys aren't aware, but you know we all play War Thunder so I'm assuming we all know this. Uh, the MA262 was the first operational mass produced jet fighter in the world. So uh, that's pretty neat. Uh, in War Thunder it's a pretty good dog fighter uh, sitting at 7.0 so you can get uh, down tiered against props and like worse jets like the oh fuck what's it called um, 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 um fuck the p-59 there you go the p-59 um yak 15 stuff like that um it also you know sits at 70 so you can get up tiered but that's pretty rare because you know 70 73 and 77 are pretty popular brs with people so you're pretty likely to get a, a pretty good spread of brs and um Another couple things that I want to touch on before I uh, jump into this is that it does uh, got tongue tied. It does get uh, wing slats. You can't really see them right here, but they're like right there, and they come all the way down. So if you use those with your combat flaps, usually in a one on one, you can uh, out dog fight people. Uh, you know, assuming that you come into the engagement pretty even on energy anyway. Um, if you get caught out in the ME two six two, chances are you're you're not going to have a good time. It doesn't accelerate very well, um, so, you know, it, like I said, if you get caught out, you can't really run away from people, so you're kind of at their mercy. Uh, F-80s and F-84s are pretty scary in that way, you know, they, they have the engine power to not only uh, keep up with you, but catch you. So, you know, this is a couple things that you got to worry about. It does also get uh, rockets that were historically used on B-17 bomber formations, but... Uh, in this game, you can use them kind of like the F-89D. Uh, they kind of like the same methodology and same use. But um, I don't really like to use them because I suck with airburst rockets. They're not, they're not my favorite. So uh, I probably won't use them. I might, but we'll see. Um, and one more thing. I do stream on Twitch Tuesdays through Thursdays, but uh, I probably won't be live for the next week or two because I'm going out of town. And I'm going to try to get a backlog of videos available for you guys as well. And just for those who are curious, I do have a Discord link in the description below as well. But I have rambled on for way too long, so let's just jump straight in. Alright, so we're here on Sinai in an up tier 277. We also have a Spitfire. I thought we had more than one, but apparently we only have one. We also have a BI in this game. It's quite a rare Russian plane. I think it was an event plane a couple years ago. F3D and an F84 closing the distance. I didn't really get as high up as I wanted to, and I'm not going as fast as I would like to be either. Okay, I am using universal belts. Me and this F3D are locked in. Get him, MD! Oh, God! Oh, well. Hmm. That's less than ideal. This plane doesn't really do well on one engine, and I think that's a pretty good point to touch on right now. <laughs> Considering I only have one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really like to fly on one. It also does get uh, airburst rockets, which can be a lot of fun if you know what you're doing with them. Yay! Okay, I need to RTB because, um, yeah. Ooh, okay, well, there's a lot of their team over there. Um, uh, okay, who is that? That's an F-84 who is getting hounded by, like, four guys right now. Oh, oh they look like he was getting... Some solid shots in the BI, but I guess not. Alright, well, my match is over for now. That's unfortunate. Alright, we're here on Hurtgen in a actual down tier. We're actually top tier, which feels pretty good. I don't know how to feel about that. It's quite rare. So, we have an A1H down low, who is dead. I did not see the Heinkel 162. There's a lot of Tiger Cats, though. There's three already so far. P-51H. Get him, JU-288. Come on, he's like... 
Silver platter. Oh, dude, the JU-288's not even paying the slightest bit of attention. It's okay, because I am... I'm gonna try and help this guy out. We have a pretty nice cloud of blue and red over this way. Okay, now it looks like mostly just red. And this guy, I am gaining on him. I'm gonna follow him for just a brief moment. Okay, he's still looking at the G288, who is doubling back my way. F3D as well. Tau 152 smells the blood in the water. P51 up high. That P51 could be a problem. Oh, Taw just killed that guy. Lining up behind the Taw. Oh, dude, this guy cracked his shit. Okay, he doesn't need my help. <laughs> We're winning. No! Ow. Well, that could have gone worse. Or better, you know, depending on how you look at it. I'm not going to turn around because... No. ME262, you don't turn in the ME262. Not unless you know you can win, and I cannot win against the P-51. This Horton looks like he needs some help, so, even though I'm slightly damaged, I'm going to try my best to assist. Who do I want to go for? Go after the Tiger Cat. No, I suck so bad! I had that. I had him. I was right there and I fucked it up. It's okay. I'm going to come back around and see if I can assist because he's still got a P-51 on his tail. No! Well, shit, dude. Can't do anything. I'm telling you, man, these uh, 30 millimeter cannons are pretty hard to aim with, especially when you bounce around a lot. <laughs> it's okay, I have this tiger cat dead to rights here, there's no way I shouldn't kill this guy. Okay, finally got a lucky connection. Alright, there's his friend, Jedi Obama, I love that name, that's a funny name. He's going after the JU-288. I will save you. Yeah! Goodbye, tail! Ow! Good gravy! That could have... Oh my god, that would have been so funny. But so depressing. He did hurt me. Get him, JP. Get him. No. I'm actually doing what the ME262 did in real life. Bought propeller planes. Hmm. But the team is doing worse than I would like. Alright, come here. You're all alone. For now, anyway. He's gonna have a friend here really soon. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> I cannot run them in a straight line. They'll out, they'll out accelerate me, but I have to play this smart. I can't be stupid. They're closing in on me. Look at this. Look at this. What is happening? <laughs> is he going to open fire on me? No. Quite surprised, I kind of expected him to try to get a long-range deflection shot. 
Still have 116 rounds of ammo, still have 9 minutes of gas. I'm a little bit worse for wear, but... Nonetheless, all my performance sensitive components are okay. I have a P-51 slowly closing on me, I'm opening that distance. I did not expect to get that. That is hilarious. I don't really want to drag all these guys to the auxiliary. Because that's my only other teammate. The enemy's getting closer to victory. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, he's taking off. But we don't have any air defense at the auxiliary. Okay, yep, they smell the blood in the water. They smell that spitfire. Alright, let's go between them, go between them. Let's get this bear cat. Alright, good shit. All right, let's play this to my advantage. I can outrun the P-51. My teammate is dead. This is not good. <laughs> I've whittled this down to a two on one. Three on one. Oh, well, okay. I wanna try and get his friend in the back, but that requires me to turn around. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go high vertical. Go ahead and kick the flaps out. Alright, this is not smart. Alright. <clears throat> Somehow avoided his bullets again. Alright, don't crash into the ground. Hmm. Okay, he broke away. I think he's out of ammo. This one is still following. I am going to give him the 07 because this is a good fight. If we don't do something fast, Holy shit, dude. This fucking win. clip is eight minutes long. Holy fuck. Something needs to change here. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try and get this guy. Six minutes of gas. Don't know where his friend went. Alright. Alright. I think I've closed in enough to where... I'm getting to where I want to make a pass at him. There's his friend. I thought he was low on gas? Because it looked like he was just kind of hovering there for a second. Alright. I'm going to get ready. Alright, I'm doing it. Which way is he going? Hard right? Hey, there's this friend. I have a lot of energy right now. I can just go straight vertical. Let's not be dumb. Let's not do this. Let's not fuck this up. Alright, come here. Your ass is mine. Alright, 14 rounds of ammo left, but I need to RTB. I have 5 minutes of gas. And honestly, we're getting pretty long in the time here. Oh yeah, I think he is out of gas. Nice. Ran that guy out of gas. I'm an RTB. Alright, my dudes, that's going to be it. Unfortunately, we did lose that one on Hurtgen. We just ran out on tickets, and you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. 
um, you know, I think that's a good spot to end it, but I don't want you guys to think that that's gonna be, you know, every game in the ME262, because that's not. That's probably gonna be about a fifth of your games, if you're lucky. And even so, it takes more luck to pull off five kills against propeller planes that could have very easily killed you. Um, I, I don't know how I got so lucky, but I'm quite happy that I did. Um, I think that that game summed up perfectly how to fly the ME262, you know, just use your advantages, you know, realize what they are and, and utilize them. And you will have a terrific time no matter what plane you're flying. But, um, you know, I think next time I come back to this plane, uh, I'm going to have fond memories of this time that I flew it. Because I always have a good time when I fly the ME262. And I don't give it as much love as I should. And you know what? That's on me. So, you know what? Go go give a plane that you've been neglecting some love. And maybe you'll you'll find that, you know, you have a good time. But... That's me signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.